Hi there, my name is Aoife O'Rourke and I'm a Conservation Officer for the Bumblebee Conservation Trust. So insect pollination is valued at over £600 million per year. So it's not just the quantity of the fruit and veg that they produce for us, it's also about the quality of that fruit and veg. And this is a nice example here. So I've got some frozen berries in my hand. These are strawberries. And as you can see from this strawberry, it's nice and plump and succulent. And that has been well pollinated. Whereas this one here, you can see it's not plump, it's misshapen. And that's an example of a strawberry that hasn't been well pollinated. So today what I thought I would do um, in order to pay homage to our bumblebees is to make a lovely fruit crumble. So there's strawberries, raspberries, you know, blueberries, a whole range of different things that are pollinated by bumblebees. Another thing that a lot of people aren't aware of is that a lot of seeds and nuts have been pollinated by bumblebees, including almonds. Um, I'm also going to mix in some sunflowers, which again have been pollinated by these lovely fuzzy creatures. Um, and perhaps a more tenuous link that people are completely unaware of is the, the link between our dairy, such as our butter, and our bumblebees. So when farmers put their cows onto pasture, what they often do is they sow clover in with the grass and that helps the grass to grow more vigorously. And so it's all part of this intrinsic kind of system and we benefit from it. And at the end of the day, we get our dairy. So next time you have a nice dollop of cream on the side of your dessert, just remember what part the bees had to play in that.